I have challenged myself to create 25 Canva tutorials in the month of December to get caught up with all the brand new templates on Canva. And what I am going to do in every single video is I am going to hide a secret word. If you are the first YouTube subscriber to find all 25 words, I am going to give you a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. So friends, make sure that you stick with the videos in the series, find the words, create during this holiday season, and see if you can be the subscriber to win. Without further ado, let's hop in. So before we hop into designing a calendar within Canva, I want to show you how you can find all of these templates within Canva 2.0. There are multiple ways for you to search what is available on this website. The first one is by typing in something in the search bar under design anything. So if we type in calendar, it's going to suggest calendar and it's going to bring up some options. You can also click on the blue button on the side, create a design, and that will open up a category of templates underneath the dropdown. You can click on templates on the side, which is going to show you a large view of the templates available where you can browse by category or you can scroll down to see everything. However, my favorite view that is available on Canva 2.0 is to click on create a design. When you click on create a design in that top left hand corner, you are able to see small thumbnails of everything that's available on Canva in one spot. And don't forget you can click on these arrows to show you even more. And the different categories like personal and marketing have a bit more to offer than what just shows up in the initial row. So that is why I was encouraged to do a Canva Create-a-thon to show you all what's possible. It's more than just what you see on the home page. So if we go back to home and under design anything, we go back and type in calendar, you're going to see that there are multiple categories that you can choose from. Monthly calendar, weekly calendar, daily, photo, birthday, and classroom calendar. Now, if we click on monthly calendar and we're going to click on see all, it'll show us what's available. And you'll notice that all of these have multiple designs. So if I clicked on this particular one that's already formatted for 2020, I can get not only January, but February, March. And so you would continue to add a page and drop in this template. And so if you went through all 12 of these on the side, you would get a free 2020 calendar. Now you can change out the images. You do not have to stay with what they provide there. If you click on the image and you click delete, it'll show you an element within Canva. So maybe if I click on photos, if I wanted something different for New Year's, I could type in New Year's and then I could pull in whatever image I wanted. So maybe I prefer this one instead. Or let's see here, maybe we want something with people in it. So we could select this image and if we click on it and drag it in, it will automatically resize for that space. So you could use the Canva photos to replace these. You could also upload images of your own. So if I wanted to perhaps upload some I for Ebony images, I could click on there and I could say, okay, let's drag these ladies in that spot instead. So you can upload your own images, you can search Canva photos, or you can simply use what's provided in the template. And so all you would do is go page by page, add in every single month, and then when you're ready, you can publish it. You would click on download, and what you need to select is PDF print, which is going to stitch all of these pages together as a single document that you can take 
to your local printer and have it printed for you to display in your home. So if you've got pictures of your family that you want to drop in there, if you've got pictures of your clients or just different products that you offer, this is a super easy way to do it. So this could be for your own business, you could use it as a thank you, or you could even use it as a freebie. Perhaps you have some inspirational phrases that you can throw in there for the different months. That could be another way to grow your email list. So if we click back on templates and we close this out, we're going to go ahead and delete these so I can show you a bit more. We're going to X out a monthly calendar and I'll show you what's available in the weekly view. So you have a few more available here and I want to show you a distinct difference. So a lot of these are graphic driven and not photo driven. Now if you do print these and you plan on writing on them, maybe you don't want it to be a yellow background because that can make it harder to read all of this. So if you need to change the background, all you need to do is click on the box in the top left hand corner and then you can change it. A simple default color is to change it to white. And so you can keep the original design, but you can just say, instead of a yellow background, I prefer white so I can write on it. And again, you would add in the different months. And these come with inspirational phrases on them. Now I like this particular layout because it gives you room to write down what you're doing day to day. And so if you want to use the printable calendar more like a day planner, this could be an option. And this is fairly plain. You can just write the week on the side, write the date in the little boxes in the top right hand corner, and then that could work for you. So you really need to think about what are your current needs for 2020 and what do you need to keep track of? Because Canva can allow you to design whatever it is that you want. You can add boxes, you can take them away. Maybe you don't need boxes for Saturday and Sunday. And you would rather have bigger boxes for Friday, perhaps. So you can modify these templates however you'd like, change the backgrounds, change the fonts, change the colors to match your brand photos. Of brand colors. But the last thing I want to show you is the time blocking option. And so I think this is awesome. I personally use time blocking as a strategy to keep track of what I need to do throughout the day. And so this is awesome that you can put down your work hours on the side and you can assign tasks for those different blocks of time. So if you are looking to get into time blocking, the yellow sprinkles and dots weekly calendar could be for you. And maybe, you know, these boxes are a bit too small or you don't like the background. You can click and delete whatever you want. And you can also click and drag things. Now it looks like the way these are formatted is a group. So if I were to click and drag everything, it would move the entire element. But if I ungroup it, then I should be able to move these sections on their own. And so you feel free to make it look however you want. And you can click and drag, as you can see, maybe you want it Monday to Sunday instead of Sunday to Monday, whatever works for you. And when you're done, all you need to do is click and download it. So I am a huge fan of Canva and I love that you can create things not only for your own brand, but for you to use to advertise your brand. Now I am about to show you the secret word for this video and I'm going to explain what you all need to do. So the secret word for this particular tutorial is the word time. I thought it was pretty appropriate. So as day one of the Canva create a thought, I want you to grab a sheet of paper, grab an index card, grab a planner, and go ahead and write down the word time. At the end of the Canva create a thought, which will end on Christmas day, you should have 25 secret words. If you are the very first YouTube subscriber to find all 25 words hidden in my tutorials and you click on the link in the description, then you can win a free 
Squarespace website. I'm limiting it to five pages, but my business about 90 marketing specializes in Squarespace websites. And I think it would be amazing to help a small business start the year with a new site. So before I let you go, I'm going to show you a few of my designs and encourage you once again to go ahead, write down the secret word time. And if you haven't, subscribe to my VIP vault. I have even more resources available for you inside of the vault. It's absolutely free. Lots of people utilize it to grow their businesses without breaking the bank. And until next time, ta-ta for now.